Hey friends, Miss Kennedy here. My family and I are thinking about adopting a dog soon. And so I think I just kind of have dogs and puppies on the brain. So I picked another funny dog book for us to read this week. It's called Dogzilla. And one of the great parts of this story is that the illustrations are a mix of drawings and photographs. So I hope you really like it. Dogzilla, written by Dab Pilkey. It was summertime in the city of Mouseopolis and mice from all corners of the community had come together to compete in the first annual barbecue cook-off. As the cook-off got underway, smoke from the hot grills lifted the irresistible scent of barbecue sauce over the rooftops of the city. A gentle wind carried the mouth-watering smell into the distance, right over the top of an ancient crater. Before long, a strange and mysterious sound was heard. <laughs> sniff, sniff, sniff. All at once, the volcano began to tremble. And suddenly, up from the very depths of the earth, came the most terrifying creature ever known to mouse kind, the dreadful Dogzilla. Immediately, soldiers were sent out to stop the mighty beast. The heroic troops were led by their brave commanding officer, the Big Cheese. All right, you old flea bag, squeaked the Big Cheese. Get those paws up in the air. You're coming with us. Without warning, the monstrous mutt breathed her horrible breath onto the mice. Doggy breath, screamed the soldiers. Run for your lives. Hey, come back here, shouted the big cheese to his troops. What are you, men or mice? We're mice, they squeaked. Hmm, said the big cheese. You're right, wait for me. The colossal canine followed the soldiers back to Mouseopolis, licking up all the food in her path. Afterward, Dogzilla wandered through the city streets, doing those things that come naturally to dogs. Dogzilla chased cars right off the freeway. Dogzilla chewed furniture and the furniture store as well. And Dogzilla dug up bones at the Museum of Natural History. Meanwhile, the Big Cheese had organized an emergency meeting with one of the city's greatest scientific minds, Professor Scarlett O'Hare. Gentle mice, said Professor O'Hare, this monster comes from prehistoric times. It is perhaps millions of years old. Maybe we could teach it to do something positive for the community, suggested the Big Cheese. I'm afraid not, said Professor O'Hare. You simply can't teach an old dog new tricks. If we're going to defeat this dog, we've got to think like a dog. We've got to find something that all dogs are afraid of. Something that will scare this beast away from Monstropolis forever. I've got an idea, squeaked the Big Cheese. Within minutes, the mice had assembled at the center of town. All right, Dogzilla, shouted the Big Cheese. No more Mr. Mice Guy. It's bath time. Suddenly, a blast of warm, sudsy water hit Dogzilla with tremendous force. The panicking pooch let out a burst of hot, fiery breath, and the chase was on. The big cheese tried to catch up to the hot dog with all the relish he could muster. Dogzilla hightailed it out of town and back into the mouth of the ancient volcano. Well, I'll be doggone, squeaked the big cheese. It worked! With the horrifying memory of the bubble bath etched into her mind forever, 
Dogzilla never again returned to Mausopolis. Within a year, Mausopolis had rebuilt itself, just in time for the second annual barbecue cook-off. The mice of Mausopolis fired up their grills, confident that they would never see or hear from Dogzilla again. However, there was one thing that they hadn't counted on. Puppies! 